Hi guys and welcome to this week's Bite Size for Kids Craft where I'll be showing you how to make a simple Bible journaling page. Remember if you haven't already looked at the teaching material or the challenge you can check that out on our Facebook page. For this craft you will need some paper, some paint, I've used watercolours, something to mix the paint on, some brushes, some water and a black pen. Okay let's get started. So what you want to do is start with some white paint in the middle of your page and use lots of outward strokes to paint a ray outwards from the centre of your page. I like to mix my white paint with a bit of water so that it spreads more smoothly. Then I'm using lots of different colours of yellows uh, to mix and get the correct colours that I'm looking for. This is a really great way just to explore your creativity um, and to spend some time with God. I like to listen to some worship music whenever I'm painting and just really choose whichever colours uh, come to mind. You can do whatever colours you like. I chose to go for some nice bright sunset colours. Using some reds and oranges will add lots of warmth to your picture. Again, you can see that I'm using lots of water just to blend the paints together and make sure that the lines are really smooth. Always going in outward streaks from the center of the page. And obviously you don't have to use the specific watercolours that I'm using, you can use whatever paints you have uh, and just enjoy mixing them together to see what colours you create. I also like to add white paint over what I've already done just to blend everything out. Sometimes I also use the paper just to clean my brush a little bit as well as using the water and dry off any excess water so that the paint doesn't run away. As you can see, I'm adding some thicker paint to the middle uh, just to make sure that it's really bold and stands out. As you can see, I'm blending more with more white coming out from the centre of the page and that gives a really bright light effect. I've also kept the red to one side of the page and then moved three orange and left it yellow on the other side of the page. So once you're happy with your painting, then you want to leave it to dry completely. You'll see in a bit that I didn't do that and I was a bit impatient. But when your painting is dry, you can then use your black pen to add on your lettering. Um, I've chosen just the words, my God, that is who you are from the song Waymaker. Um, you can use this technique with any Bible verse or any song lyric that you like and perhaps put it up on a wall and you can maybe put it on some cards. This is where the paint um, hadn't quite dried and it was making my pen um, run out a little bit. I like to write in capitals and thicken out the left hand side of each letter into a box and I find that's a really good journaling technique. And you can play around with the layout of the words and how many words you write on each line and whether you do the picture portrait or landscape and it doesn't really matter too much. And then I like to fill in some of the the gaps in the letters with some horizontal pen lines starting dark at the bottom and then thinning them out towards the top. And you can really play around and add any little doodles um, that you like around the edge, it doesn't matter. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, craft and I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Bye!